We are from National Dairy Development Board. I don't know how many of you know about National Dairy Development Board. See, we are the government autonomous organization uh, placed out of Anand. And we help, uh, our uh, founder is uh, Dr. Varghis Korean. So he founded the National Dairy Development Board to promote the cooperative systems in the, in the milk uh, section. And uh, his success story was, So uh, our founder has you know, created Amul. How many of you know Amul you know, brand? So Amul is you know, one of the big brands you know, available in the world. So he created an Amul brand in our, uh, as based upon the corporate system. And we want to know, the, uh, our founder, uh, founder decided, we want to replicate the same thing across India. So that's why our, our organization has been formed as National Dairy Development Board. And you know, we recently completed 50 years of, 55 years of completion. And uh, we are an autonomous body. We are working with the government of India. And so our aim is, our founder has set the very, very goal very clearly, what we want to achieve. We want to develop, we want to promote cooperative system across India. So that's why we started. So our, our organization is giving all the uh, solution to the milk producing companies. And we also thought we can also give back something to our, um, our fellow cooperative system across India. So we also started our open source based ERP system. Initially we started, so this is the typical um, way of working this one. How many of you know that? <coughs> the milk is getting collected at the village level and the milk is getting transported through a tanker and it is coming to the milk uh, uh, union. It's uh, almost 50 to 60 kilometers from the location. Milk is getting collected and it is getting processed and it is getting you know, sold to pouches through the consumers. So the end to end of tracking, we would like to have an automated system and we would like to have digitize of everything to be possible at the extent. So first thing, the milk is getting collected because we are, you know, India is our company, India is our, 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 our country has a lot of farmers who are having one or two uh, mil, um, cows in their house. So they make, they, they make use of the cows and they uh, get the milk and milk is getting poured to a particular location. And the milk is, while well, milk is getting collected, it is getting collected as a two parameters. One is fat, and we call this, and another called is SNF, solid and not fat. So this, Based upon this calculation, the farmer is getting benefited. This farmer is getting paid for that one. So we have a lot of you know, machines available. So we would like to integrate everything. And the farmer should not be cheated. And farmer should be get the maximum benefit out of that. In the cooperative system, generally, 75 to 80 percentage of the money it goes back to the farmer. So that is the way you know, the cooperative system has been you know, established in our country. Now. We are having a problem, so we would like to have, because cooperatives, cooperatives, you no know, based farmers manage the, manage the organization, we don't have any sophisticated, you know, computer system or computer end-to-end -end tracking. So our, our VSA, National Dairy Development Board, we developed the uh, solution based upon the open source because it should be affordable and should be implemented across the uh, cooperative system. So from first to the first one, we are having, so this is a typical way of you know, milk is getting uh, transported from the... <laughs> milk producer inputs here. So milk is getting collected here and it is coming to the village. So we have something called, we have developed our own application called Automatic Milk Collection System. It's an open source based product and it's been implemented across the India and we have implemented across 30 to 35 milk unions uh, by NDDB. That's our organization has implemented. And we have, the milk is getting collected. Once it is getting collected, that fat and the SNF is getting recorded and the farmer will be getting a SMS or farmer is also having a mobile application. We developed a mobile application, the farmer can download the mobile application and they can see what is the my fat and yes enough and what is the amount I heard supposed to get. Okay, next. Next one is, okay, milk is getting collected. So we have to process the milk. How to process the milk? And we need to have an end-to-end -end system and we need to have a better tracking so that it will be getting accounted every minute, every time. So we have developed, we have you now initially thought of having a lot of open source based uh, um, software ERP systems, but we could not get anything. 
But thanks to our founder, um, Rishabh and you know, Umesh, they, they came to Anand and they suggested, so we can have an you know, ERP, uh, open source ERP, ERP next application can be utilized for that one. Thanks to Frappy team, and we have done a wonderful job of implementing eight implementation. So now, we have milk is getting collected at the village level. The milk is coming to the plant. So now it has to be integrated with my ERP application. So we have created a lot of connectors in between two open source based applications and whatever the milk is coming to the, my you know, milk plant, it is getting automatically coming to my ERP for tracking. So that integration we have done and we are successfully working with the two applications that is coming from AMCS, it is automatic milk collection system to ERP system. That we call as a National Dairy Development Board ERP system. And it has a lot of features. Right now, we are thinking of giving the facility to the consumer. As you know, this milk industry is not like a typical manufacturing industry because most of the manufacturing organization, the sales is happening in the fag end of the month. So at the time only the system will be very heavily loaded. So sales orders will be created, a lot of things will be covered. But this in this system, we are having 365 days, 24, 24 hours. We need to get the punch in order for the milk and we need to process and we need to deliver on time, morning and evening. We have to. We cannot skip a single, single delivery. If this is going to happen, it's going to create a lot of issues. So how we are going to make it? We are having almost 500 to 600 sales orders are getting created on a daily basis. 600 uh, the, the, um, sales orders, and I have to process, and I have to create a delivery challenge, and most of the things, we have to have a system in which I need to collect the money in advance. So I need to have better accounting for the people. And we, I have a lot of, cons lot of customers, are, uh, consumers are waiting for me, a lot of customers are waiting for me. So I have to have a better tracking system. So we have taken ERP next, and we have also modified a lot of things on the top of that. Right now, in India, you know that our farmers are not very, you no, know, very, you no, know, rich people. So they pour the they pour the milk to the societies, and they have to get the milk, the animal feeding, feeding and you no, know, mineral mixture from them for them to feed the animal. So how they are going to do that? They they don't have money in their packet. So they have to pour the milk. On, on pouring the milk, they have to get some credit. Out of the credit, they will buy something. So how we are going to tack? We are having almost seven crores of farmers across India who are using, who are pouring the milk. We need to have some system. We need to, we need to get the demand from those farmers. We need to process it and we need to give the demand, we need to supply the material to them on credit basis. So we have a system in EMCS, we have, we have, we have, we have developed a system and the farmer can punch in the demand what type of mineral mixer, what type of feed I want from the union. So it is, it is getting punched in the AMC, it is digitized, it's a digitized, and the data is getting captured, and it is automatically come to my ERP, and ERP, I am creating a sales order for these guys. So that level of power of ERP next is helping me. <laughs> so we have integrated, we have integrated, now at, at any point of time, the farmer will know when I am going to get the, my, my demand, my, my demand is going to be supplied. So that level of is uh, that level of details, level of planning, and everything is possible because of Frappy. I would like to appreciate the Frappy teamwork, the team for giving the wonderful software, and the asset team. is internally, internally we have developed our own skills, and we developed our own application. And thanks to Frappy again. Okay. Next one is, we know all of all of us know we have e invoicing tool and EVA bill, because all the milk product, right now I have to go for GST. So I have to create a EVA bill, and I have to go to the portal, and I have to register it, and I have to get it. So how we have, we have developed our own tool on top of the ERP next. So it is, creating, it is getting all the information, and it's going to the portal, and from the portal I'm getting the JSON file and uploading to my invoice, and invo invoicing, we have this, all the QR code is getting printed automatically. And we are also uh, developed Android-based application for the consumer, consumer to consumer to respond, consumer to punch in the order. Because 
at any point of time, 500 you know, distributors are available. So I cannot take the orders over the phone. So we are planning to give the application to the distributor so they can punch in the order. So only thing I have to do that, I have to accept the order. Then once accept the order has been done, all the things can be taken care of in VRP. And we have created a lot of bulk tool, as I mentioned. <laughs> Lot of you no know, things I need to take care of every day. 500 sales orders, I got to take it. I cannot skip a single single sales order. So I have to do that. So for that, we have created a bulk tool for that you know, to ease the operation. And other thing is very important thing in milk industry is the milk is getting delivered on a crate. The crate is owned by the milk union. So we need to have better accounting. How many crate I'm supplying to the distributor through the transporter. That, that mechanism I have to maintain it. So we have created a tool on top of that. And in milk industry, we have a leak management, leakage management. Suppose I'm eligible, some distributors are eligible to get some leakages here, leakages here, what are the things. So I have to get leakage management. It is very configurable. They say if you buy 50 liters, you'll get one liter as leakage. Some business, based upon the business logic, we have, we have created our own application. And there are a lot of things, when you go to the milk unions, different, different milk unions, they are having different, different type of business logic. So how to take care of all the things? So thanks to Frappy, so we are, ready, we are able to customize it for the people, record people, and we have done that. And a typically ERP implementation will take six to nine months, typically. But thanks to Frappy, we have done six implementation in this year from April 1st to September 6th. Six implementations we have done that. And the two shows, these are the milk unions we are, you know, we have implemented, and it is a free of cost from NDDB. We are not charging the milk union because it's a cooperative milk union. So NDDB is meant for, to give, a, to give service for them. And this is the sample site here. And I would proudly say that because of RAPI, we have something called International Dairy Forum. So recently, last week, our Prime Minister has attended this meeting, and after 49 years, after 49 years, India was hosting this idea of International Dairy Forum, and we are, there are almost 150 nominations they got it. Of the 150 nominations, we got the first prize. Just to one, uh, add one more thing, uh, there are 40 countries uh, came here, uh, this World Dairy Summit, uh, last 12 to 14, and out of that, 14 uh, different categories were there, and uh, from India, seven, we have won seven uh, uh, winner in seven categories, and out of seven, NDDB has won four categories. So, because of that, NDDB is, NDDB is known for innovations and to adopt the technologies. For that reason, we have chosen Frappe as a partner for our uh, future uh, plan because so many state governments are behind us. But this, this, was, this is the need of the hour for the, all the milk unions in the countries because they can't afford proprietary ERPs, not only the product cost, each and every year licensing cost. So how can they afford? And we are the National Dairy Development Board. We are for the farmers, uh, this one, and for the farmers' institutions. So, uh, with the help of the we are we have implemented eight uh, uh, milk unions in the country, and we are we are so many uh, state governments and the milk unions are behind us. We will do that uh, obviously, and uh, again I thank to Frappe and my team and uh, my sir uh, GM sir, and here my team also there. Please can you please uh, stand up? My all the developers, Uday, Mansi. Uh, Tusar and Cable, all the developers is with me. So thank you, everybody. Yes. Again, I, I don't have any words to express my, our feelings. Thanks to Frappi, that's all. Because, because of you, we are able to make it happen. Thank you. And another thing, uh, the International Dairy Federation uh, promised us they will promote this uh, ERP next and NDERP in all their uh, peers, all their uh, websites, and they will give the success story throughout the world. 
and so many organizations outside the country also interested uh, for this end to end solutions what we are offering from cow to consumer from automatic milk collection system starting from the milk collection processing and ultimately reaches to the consumer through this erp awesome. thank you, thank you.